Hey Stampers, it's Madeline from StampWithMadeline.com, the Wonderland Stamper. Today we are going to be playing with the Truly Tailored Suite, which has some really adorable manly products that you can make some awesome cards for your special someone or a family member um, for Valentine's Day or for any time during the year. Um, and I love it because it's hard sometimes to find a masculine card. So this is a super easy way to make a masculine card. So let me show you the set that we're going to be working with. This is truly tailored. So this is the stamp set. I have it in the clear red rubber. So that's what we'll be using today for the stamps. And you can buy it in a bundle and get this awesome punch with it that we'll be playing with as well. I really like the look of this and it really is a great center point for these cards. So these cards were in my demonstrator swap that I partook in. Um, I organize it and all the demonstrators send in their cards to me and they get all different cards back. So if you're a demonstrator and you're interested, um, I have a video that was a few videos back uh, with all the swap cards for the new occasions and celebration catalog of 2018 and these were two of them. So if you go back, you see it and you're interested as a demonstrator, um, please reach out to me and I'll add you to my email list. So we are going to start with this card. I did a lot of the prep work beforehand, but I'll be telling you um, what is needed. So this card was made by Sherry Caspers, um, and she's a demonstrator that partook in the swap. Um, and I just love this card because I get a lot of customers um, and myself that don't really know sometimes what to do with the designer series paper. So it's really gorgeous, it's pretty, but how do I put it in a card? So this I thought was the perfect example of showing you how you can easily um, display a little bit of everything from a designer series paper pack. Before we get into the creation of this card though, I want to show you, this is the True Gentleman designer series paper pack and I want to show you what's included in it. So these are the cute little bow ties. All of our designer series paper is double sided. It comes 12 by 12. Some of the packs do come 6 by 6, but it's not an option that you can choose. It just comes either 6 by 6 or 12 by 12. So you have to look in the catalog or online and just see what the size is that you're getting. In a 12 by 12 pack, like this True Gentleman pack, um, you do get two of each piece. So you, you get a lot of different paper um, and they're all absolutely gorgeous. And it's all manly paper um, that I just love. Okay, so we're going to be using a little bit of it to make this card. I'm going to take this out of the shiny wrapper so that you can see it without the glare on it. Okay, so this is what we're working towards today. I did all the prep beforehand um, and the cutting, so I'll give you all the measurements and tell you what I used. Um, and then over on my blog, so down below, click over on that link, uh, even when you're watching the, the video here, and you can see all of the uh, products that I used and all of the dimensions that I used. And with all the products that I used, you can click on them and it'll bring you right over to my 24 hour uh, online shop where you can get anything that you want. Um, from this video or previous videos. And before you do anything else, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below because you don't want to miss another Stampin' Sunday video. So every Sunday I do a Stampin' Sunday where we make two different cards with one set. And then for the next week, Monday through Friday, I do a blog post every day using the same set and I make a different project with it every single day. So you don't want to miss that either. So make sure you head over to my blog and subscribe to that as well as my YouTube channel. So thanks so much for being here and watching my videos. Let's get started with this card and what you will need. Okay, so when Sherry made this, she did it on a card base. So she already had it all set up to be written in. Um, I like using a white card base that is um, 4.25 by 11. That way it can be white and I can write my message inside or do a stamped image inside. So I'm just going to make a card front that you can then attach to a card base. And if you, if you have any questions about that, you can leave me a comment below. So we're using Early Espresso here. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we're using a piece of crumb cake that she used a different embossing folder than I did, but I didn't have this one. So I use the pine, I think it's like pine wood planks embossing folder. It'll be over on my blog in the product section. You can click on it and see it in my shop. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's a heavy, heavier duty 
embossing folder so it gives a really detailed design on whatever you're using it with so I did that so this is four by five and a quarter uh, in crumb cake and then I rolled it through the big shot with that embossing folder and then next I have a piece of emerald envy that is going to be um, four and a half by three and a half so this sits right in the center so this is that emerald envy so four and a half by three and a half then I have these cute little squares that are going to be one and five eighths by two and one eighths so this they just lay out here into little squares here and we'll space them out the right way when we um, get going with adhesiving um, our pieces down but I used a little bit or Sherry used a little bit of every piece of designer series paper that's in the pack and I love that so you could make this card with the other papers in the pack you don't have to do the exact pattern um, that this is and you can already tell some differences like my bow ties are horizontal versus the vertical and I have that different embossing folder background than what she does so I love that every card that you make even if it's the same card they always look a little bit different and I really enjoy that next I used the same colors that are going in my base here the early espresso and the crumb cake and I used our layering ovals framelits and I cut out two of the smaller ones um, to give it that layered look here and then you want to have a scrap piece of very vanilla handy because we are going that's what we're going to be stamping our image on from the truly tailored set so I just have a very vanilla piece here um, you can use any kind of scrap that you have a very vanilla and that's what we're going to be stamping on so first things first let's get our adhesive out and let's start putting this card together because the stamping is really our last step here when you're using the embossing folder you want to put a little bit more adhesive on the piece that you've um, rolled through the big shot because it needs a little bit of extra love in order to stick down onto your paper just because it has that textured pattern so I'm just going to press down really well make sure the adhesive is fully down okay and then you're going to put down your um, emerald envy so this is part of the um, 2016 to 2018 in colors that will be going away when our new annual catalog releases in May um, or June I'm sorry so you want to make sure that if you want any of the colors in that set that you get it now paper and ink and the refills because what ends up happening is when they announce you know when it gets closer and they announce like last days to get the ink pads that they won't they'll no longer be um, reshelving them that's when they run out in like an hour so if that's something that you want, I would definitely grab that because there's some gorgeous colors in that set. It's going to be one that I'm very sad to see go. Peekaboo Peach, Sweet Sugar Plum, this Emerald Envy. Um, really sad. Okay, so as I was chatting, um, I glued on the wrong side, but that's okay. So we are going to have a little bit of a different look here because I'm using different paper. So if you notice, this is probably the hardest part of this card is just trying to get everything even you know when you're putting these squares down so I wouldn't push very heavily on them until you have them all in the place that you want um, because that makes all the difference and I am very uh, it's hard for me not to be a perfectionist so this is very difficult for me to get to let it go and say it looks good <laughs> okay so there's that and we're going to put down these last two so yeah I would definitely if you're interested at all in that 2016 and 2018 set I would get on it and start buying them up now just so that you know for sure that you're going to have them because they went fast last year when the annual catalog came out um, and they said that they were no longer restocking those colors I could not believe how fast everything went okay so there are our squares and now we're going to put our little ovals together so what we're going to do is I'm going to put adhesive on the crumb cake but I'm actually going to use dimensionals to put the early espresso onto our card base so I'm just going to get some dimensionals out here and I'm going to actually use some of them that are on the edges here. I love to use up everything that you've got. 
Yeah, so don't throw out your dimensionals. If they have those outlines on them, you definitely want to use those because it's just like a regular dimensional. All right, so there those are. Just going to peel up the paper and then center it on to our card. So this is a pretty quick card that you can make up a bunch of them if you want to have them handy. We're just going to center it on here. There we go. So now comes the stamping part. So now you want to have Emerald Envy ink out and then a piece of that scrap piece of very vanilla out. And these are red rubber stamps. So you don't need to have a piercing mat underneath. So here's my Emerald Envy. I'm going to need a D clear block. So these are um, clear stamps. I don't have a wood block on them. So I put a little bit of adhesive on the back so that they'll definitely stick to my block. I'm going to get it nice and inked in this Emerald Envy so it gives that nice crisp image. I'm going to put it near the bottom of my paper here because I want the punch to be able to cut it out. Okay, so there is my stamp. I'm going to take my punch, slide it in here, line it up. So there is going to have that nice white outline. So you want to make sure that it's centered in there the way that you want it before you cut it out. So I'm just lining up the points of the stamped image with the points of the punch. That's the easiest for me to tell where it needs to be. There we go. And then we're just going to use regular adhesive um, to put this down on the card. So I'm just going to do a strip of adhesive and center it on here. I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. So there's our first card. See how simple that was? There is a little bit of prep work to do beforehand, but not too much. All right, so that's our first card. Now we're going to move into our second card, which is super simple. All right, so let me get out that card for us. I'm going to take it out of the clear wrap just so that you can see it without the glare. There we go. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so this card was made by Sandy Haynes. She is a demonstrator uh, in Florida, and she uh, partook in my demonstrator swap. And I love this card. I love that it's showing, again, just how to use designer series paper. That's a big thing for my customers and for myself. I want to have a card where it's using designer series paper. It's super simple to put together, and so you get a really great look. All right. So again, she used very vanilla for her base. I'm just going to do a card front and then you can attach it to a card base if you'd like. Um, for my videos, I make all card fronts and then I attach it to a base later when I'm ready. It just saves on supplies and um, it helps me just to be able to flip through some card fronts when I'm ready to get a card and attach it to whatever color card base I want. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half and very vanilla. Then I have a piece of chocolate chip that's four by five and a quarter. And then I took two pieces of designer series paper from that True Gentleman designer series paper set and I cut them at, this one is three and three fourths by three inches. And then this top one is three and three fourths by two. Okay. And again, we are going to be having a very vanilla scrap out so that we can stamp in early espresso. And you're going to get to see the awesome corduroy ribbon, which I love. So this is the corduroy ribbon. And I just think it is beautiful. I love the ridges on it and I really like what it adds. And I think I've said this in other videos, but one of the presentations I saw, I think it might've been Brandy's cards um, at OnStage. She said, um, adding ribbon is just like adding mascara. So you never want to leave the house without having, she never wants to leave the house without having mascara on. The same thing with her cards. And I love that. And it's actually made me put um, ribbon on most of my cards now because of that saying. All right, so again, just like our previous card, this is very simple. We're going to put down with adhesive our chocolate chip cardstock paper here right in the center of our very vanilla. Okay, and then we're going to attach our designer series paper. So this one's going to go near the bottom. 
So do leave a little bit of an outline around it. You do want to see that chocolate chip through the outline here. We're going to have the corduroy ribbon cover up a lot in the center there. So don't worry about where you're putting this with this. You want to look around the outline and just make sure that it's even around the edges here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put our ribbon on. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to go on a card base at one point or another. So I'm going to cut enough where this will wrap around the back and I'm going to put adhesive all down the center of this ribbon. So you could do it, Sandy on her card, she cut the edges um, just so that it would stop. Um, on mine, I am going to tuck it behind because it's going to go onto a card base later on. There we go. So when you put it on a card base, you won't see that back. So that's why I am going to do that. Okay, so now we're going to do our stamped image. So we're doing the looking sharp stamp. Again, you wanna go near the end. So I'm gonna cut off what we already punched out. I'm gonna get my early espresso out. You'll need a, um, a D block, clear block. I have a little bit of adhesive on it so that it'll stick nicely. I'm gonna ink it up in this early espresso, get it nice and dark, and then just go near the bottom so that the punch can really cut it out nicely. There we go, looking sharp. We're gonna use our punch and punch this out, and we're going to use dimensionals again so that it pops off from our card a little bit. So I'm lining this up punch it out. There we go. And then you just add this on for the finishing touch. And again, using Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to use those leftovers that I have. Put it on the back there, peel up the paper. And there we go, there is our card. So here are the two cards that we made today. I hope you liked them. So again, we used the Truly Tailored, oops, sorry. Get the camera to stop shaking. We used the Truly um, Tailored Bundle. So you can get the stamp set and the punch and save 10% if you bundle. So that'll be over on my blog with the supply list. You'll be able to click on it and see it over in my shop online. Um, so this together, if you get them together, you save the 10%. Um, I hope you enjoyed these cards. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future Stampin' Sundays. And just so you all know, there's a huge giveaway I'm doing that I'm pulling on February 9th. Um, for a free paper pumpkin kit uh, and it'll be the brand new February paper pumpkin kit. Uh, I have a video. It is the Stampin' Sunday for the January paper pumpkin. Uh, if you watch that video, there is a secret question within the video. Um, you answer down below in the comments and you make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. You'll be entered to get that brand new February paper pumpkin kit for free and you'll get it when everyone else gets it. Isn't that exciting? So make sure you head over there and check that out. For now, keep stamping stampers. Bye.